in groundbreaking research that basically doesn't take an imagination too much work. You can easily see how this research can be applied to a myriad of different conditions that are resulting in deterioration and or damage to cartilage. Now, what are we talking about? All right, many of you already probably recognize, you know, Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, so on and so forth, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Well, what the researchers basically did in this particular study is took adenosine in a special format, and what they did is injected it into the areas of damage, areas which mimic osteoarthritis or ACL damage. And what they discovered is that adenosine, which has been shown in other studies as well, is that adenosine fed the chondrocyte cells responsible for cartilage production and henceforth greatly, greatly accelerated the production of that cartilage, bringing those damaged joints closer to a normal state quite dramatically. Although the research only carried out eight weeks, I'd like to see it carry out longer to see exactly how far it can go. Still amazing on its own. What does it mean to you as a person? If the studies basically pan out in human trials, that the modalities of treatment, so to say, is reference to painkillers, joint replacements, so on and so forth, may at least be diminished, if not become a thing of the past. Again, this is an animal study. If the results begin to pan out similar in human studies, then there we are. All right, let's get right into the research as follows. New approach to treating osteoarthritis advances. Injections of a natural energy molecule, molecule like you had already discussed, adenosine, prompted a regrowth rate, regrowth of almost half the cartilage lost with aging in knees. New study in Rona shows. Previous research, and there's a lot of good research out there in reference to this, had shown that maintaining supplies of adenosine known to nourish the chondrocyte cells that make cartilage also prevented osteoarthritis in similar animal models of the disease. In the new NYU Grossman School of Medicine-led study, researchers injected adenosine into the joints of rodents whose limbs had been damaged by inflammation, resulting from either traumatic injuries such as torn ligament, we talked about ACL, or massive weight gain placing pressure on the joints. The biological damage in these cases is similar, researchers say, to that sustained in human osteoarthritis. Publishing online in the Journal of Scientific Reports on August 10th, the study, Rodents received eight weekly injections. There's a reference to that when we go to the DOI citation, the amount that was in the injection per kilogram. Eight weekly injections of adenosine, which prompted regrowth rates of cartilage tissue between 50% and 35% as measured by standard laboratory tests. Now keep in mind, it's only eight weeks. So I'd like to be able to see carry out further to see if there's a law of diminishing returns, but still just the same, incredible. But to proceed, quote, our latest study shows that replenishing adenosine stores by injection worked well as a treatment for osteoarthritis in animal models of the disease and with no apparent side effects, which cannot be said the majority of the treatments being utilized currently for osteoarthritis. And again, with adenosine replenishing the chondrocyte cells from responsible for the production of cartilage, who knows what other roads this research may take. But to proceed as follows, there is the picture. You can see before treatment, and you can see again after about eight weeks of treatment, pretty amazing. R2, for the researchers out there that want to basically work with this research, you'll find basically find the dosages on the full study, fully published and available for you to peruse through. And of course, on the YouTube channel, I'll have the links straight to the full study as well. To conclude what the researcher stated, it is too soon to use this experimental model as a therapy in people. Clinical trials must await a test drug that can be safely stored for days, if not weeks, and experiments in larger mammals. And I'd love to see that really soon because the proof of concept is there. Adenosine feeds the chondrocyte cells. The chondrocyte cells, of course, help with the cartilage production and henceforth bring those joints or damaged joints more back to normalcy, which is pretty amazing. Way beyond painkillers or just basically waiting for a joint to be damaged to the point of needing replacement. What an incredible, incredible benefit to end one aspect of human suffering 
at least in regard to joint related issues. Again, DOI citation, the link will be there for you to follow. This is Ralph Turk Channel signing off once again. Gratitude, gratitude for listening. I look forward to see you all once again in the next seven days. Catch you all next time.